Hey everybody, what's up? It's TJ. You guys, we're doing something a little bit different today. We are making, well, we're canning refried beans and bean juice. And the reason why I do that is because my family's picky. Um, they don't like beans and they're chili. And I learned a long time ago not to can the chili altogether because they eat it like there ain't no tomorrow. I can't keep it in my in my pantry, so I just can the bean juice, and then when I'm ready to make chili, I just throw it all together, and it's done. So, because they don't know how to do that. There's my beans I've been cooking for a long time. They're done. Now all I'm gonna do is strain them, I'm gonna separate them. Y'all don't look at my mess, cause I know it's a mess. And you see I have a large pot for the juice. I will transfer the beans into this. At least that's my plan anyway. This pot is heavy. Well, my plans are gonna fall through y'all. I am gonna have to put the juice in here. There's so much juice. That right there for now. get another bowl for my beans. We got plenty of each, and I am gonna get these in my jars, get them ready for the canner, which still isn't really hot enough, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. So here we go. Let me get this stuff moved over here. I'm gonna do the juice first to get it out of the way. And then I'm gonna refry the beans. Y'all, I feel lost this morning. Okay. And everything's already sterilized. I may have to do two canners, two things. I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is taking too long, so I'm going to get a cup. Leave about an inch headspace. Set this over here. Y'all, I don't have my rolling cart right now, so I'm pretty much lost. I don't have enough space, or at least the space that I think I need. But anyway, I'm going to get this in the jars and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. Now, I've got all that in jars and I got five jars and with some leftover because I'm going to use that for my refab beans. But what I'm going to do to make it really smooth and creamy type uh, refab beans is I'm going to put it in my food processor. I'm gonna cream them up before I even start it. Bend them up, smash them up, whatever you wanna call it. This way it doesn't, I don't have to work as hard when I'm frying it. And then you, you know, I'm gonna get all the shell type stuff beat down. Okay, let me show y'all. I have it in my food processor. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. If it weren't for everybody being so picky, I would use whole onions, but this is the best I can do with my family. And a little bit of garlic. Salt. And I don't have my glasses on. So y'all be patient with me, please. And I'm gonna pour a little bit of juice. Ooh, I can smell that garlic. Let me stir it up. Great value brand, doesn't matter. And I'm gonna put a few, oh gosh. About that much for a frying pan. Well, maybe a little bit more. And I'm gonna dump this in there. And I will add to this. Okay, so let me get a little bit of this done and I'll be right back. All right, y'all, I'm back. I have these in the frying pan. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them on. I'll turn them on high first. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and get my other jars, the rims cleaned and the things put on and all that good stuff. So, let's get you a little bit closer. You see how creamy they are? Mmm. And they're good, too. What I will do while I'm doing my first batch of canning, I have my oven set on the lowest setting already. I'll just put my jars in there and keep them warm until I'm done with my first one and then I'll do my second round. That's how I'll do that. I hope y'all understand that. I hope I said it right. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> And you don't even much have to fry these because I've already blended them so good. Don't worry about the lard, y'all. Y'all know as preppers that you need to add a little bit of fat to your food. So that's what we're doing, basically. Adding a little bit of fat. So these are almost done. So when you blend them like that, they get done a whole lot quicker. You ain't got to mash them or anything like that. To me, that's the easy way. I like it like that. I'm only going to be able to put one jar in with my juice. Y'all can't see nothing, can you? And then I'll, the rest of it will go in a second batch. I still feel lost, y'all, because I don't have proper things out. What did I do with that label? Now, of course, when you use these, you can fry them a little bit more. Look at that. Beautiful. So my beautiful jar. So we're just about ready for our first batch. Boy, this is gonna make a mess. That's all right. We will show clean it up. Let me get one of these into here. 
I'm using both small and wide mouth jars. So, to better put it, I'm making it harder on myself. More confusing, so. <laughs> All right. Wipe my rim. Finger tight. Get my glove back. A little bit tighter. Okay, so now I gotta do my other ones. I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Wipe my rims. You know what? Some of this is already dried on there. So I'm going to wet my paper towel just a little bit. You know what? I was supposed to do two of those jars. I'll do it here in just a second. Okay, so I need to do one more of the refried beans to fill my canner up. Always fill your canner up, no matter what. Beautiful. Y'all can't see a stinking thing. Get my napkin. Y'all, I'm running out of room to set things over here on the other side. Check this out. That crap setting everywhere. There's something wrong with this tripod. I'm going to have to tape that or something. My leg keeps just sliding down on my tripod. Okay, so this should be good. Put it on there. Put 
finger tight. I know y'all ain't seeing nothing. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible camera person. I'm gonna put it in my camera. Let me get my lid. So, I'm going to bring that up to, you want it to start steaming. It'll start shooting up. When it starts shooting up, time it for 10 minutes. So, let it do that for 10 minutes. Then put your pressure gauge on, which is your little jiggler. My, I have to do 10 pounds where I'm at. I don't remember elevation in certain areas. You have to look at that on your manual when you buy a canner and I'm talking to all you new ones new people that people that are doing this this new at it there we go um 90 minutes after you put this on and it starts jiggling then you start timing it and it's 90 minutes and then you just turn your burner off and let it cool down completely all by itself. Don't do anything with your canner. Just leave it sitting on the burner. After that 90 minutes, turn it off and let it cool down. But that's it, you guys. I got a lot of work ahead of me. I got another batch to get ready. So I will talk to y'all later. Y'all have an awesome day. Bye-bye.